Hey guys, today is an exclusive full day factory tour and uh, we will be introducing to you today our metal settings and uh, both verbally and practical aspects in reality to show you what the metal setting looks like and the real installation. So I'll take you through the factory doors and you're going to see a lot of things today about our factory, our offices, our research centers and a lot more to see. So welcome to our factory. So that is our office building and that's also a research center and uh, over there is our factory so let's go in and Material and at the bottom here or the back, back of the front is uh, an aluminium uh, four layer. Okay, so basically there are three stages. The first stage, the first stage, remember, is the galvanum uh, steel plate, and between here the core material is a B1 fire retardant or remember it's a PU uh, forming, and the third aspect right here is an aluminium uh, four layer. That's basically one three stages. So, for one of the most important part is the uh, size. So, if you want to about the size, so the size basically will have 16 millimeters for the thickness and 380 millimeters for the width and for the um, for the uh, the length, like I said before, uh, we gave you. Um, customization for the length. So basically, the length is about uh, 6,000 millimeters maximum. So, let's talk about the uh, property, the feature, or the advantages of the wall panel. Okay. So, for the wall panel, we have uh, this fire pit. It is also a moisture that is to say uh, you cannot continue water or be damaged by a moisture content. Okay. And it is also a sound proof and then it is um heat insulated, right? And lastly it is light enough that you can see the it is light enough and then it can be installed very easily. Okay. And the great environmental protection and durability is one of the advantages of the meta standard. So, um, basically, let's talk about the most important part, which is the um, the patterns and the color. So, basically, we have about 17 different color patterns and 200 color selections. So, now, let's take uh, the pattern. For the pattern, we have uh, the flag series, okay? Take a look at this one right here. So, flag series. The flat series pattern. We also have the, the single grain pattern or series, if I want to say. The single grain series. Take a look at this one. And we also have the double grain series for this one. Take a look at this. 
it is double. I just show you the single and the flat uh, seeds for the um, pattern. Okay? And there are more patterns that we cannot introduce just today. Okay. So, now, let's talk about the drum colors. There are so many colors that we have here. So now, down here. Look at this one that you see here. You see that here? So the basic color right down here is white, and there are also a mixture of cream and other pattern colors right there in here, as you can see. Let's do uh, the gold stone, okay, look at this one. So the business surface of the gold stone is uh, a garbage steel plate as well, you can see right here. And also the back is also aluminum for four layer, okay. And a nice wall straight, uh, uh, spoon quarters, uh, kind of, kind of, um, metal pattern. You can see for yourself here. You can see for yourself here. So, like I said, there are several types and several colors. Let's move to this one here. I'm not going to, um, to show you. It's quite, uh, difficult to see. This is a ginger white color. And if you look at it right here, you also have, uh, a potato fan right on the, uh, on the metal side, you can see right here, the potential fan is there, you can see right here. Yeah. And this is um, an Indian white color. Take a look at this. And the design is right there. So, basically, uh, let's talk about the uses of this uh, metal side or wall panel. So, metal side can be used for interior and exterior decoration. Um, interior, uh, on exterior renovations, and basically it is suitable for all types of wall. Concrete structure, steel base structure, is quite suitable for all types of wall. So, uh, and uh, it can be used for hotels, for residential buildings, schools, and villas in the middle. And one thing I shouldn't forget to show you is the difference between the exterior wall panel and the interior wall panel. So, uh, the difference here is the distinction between the exterior wall panel and the interior wall panel. So, this one right here is the um, interior right here. You can see the, uh, the thickness. And this one here is the exterior. You take a look at it. And there are several more patterns for the, um, for the interior also. And that was so many color patterns for the exterior. So the most important part in open eyes right now is the installation. Okay. So you might want to know how to install a wall panel. Basically, I'm not a fetch man, but it's quite I think, um, easy to add the installation, okay? So with some cut, aluminum cuts and screws, you can basically see the joints right here from both sides. So I think this um, wall panel is quite easy to be installed. You don't need uh, more expertise or uh, like say, uh, a traditional kind of uh, design that you go and call lots of experts to do the installation, okay? So it's quite easy to install. Like I said before, it's light and it's quite easy to install. So basically, this is what we have, and we move to the next stage of today's floor presentation. If you have a few questions about metal selling or what kind of number code, uh, just leave a comment or contact us via our WhatsApp or via our email, and we can address your questions about um, these uh, metal selling and your specification or your requirement if you make an order. So, behind me here is a sample word of the. Um, the various colors that we have in the uh, metal siding and wall panels that you might want to call it. So you can see the various colors on the line here on the sample board. It shows you the different types of colors that you have in the metal siding. Okay. So basically, we're just going to throw the camera and we're going to see so many colors that you have in the metal siding. Okay?
previously, like I said, our factory tour is progressive. And the next aspect is to show you the reality about the installation of uh, the wall panels. Okay. So you can see in my hands here, it's an electric drilling machine and a screw that is, used, that is mostly used uh, for the installation of the wall panel. Okay. So actually, I'm not the one going to do the installation. So now we're just going to ask uh, the workers here at the factory to give you a clear description of the reality of the installation of wall panels. Okay. So now let's turn to our workers. Like you see the boys already set and they can do the installation in that point. So yeah. So basically that's the, the first aspect that you see them. And then um, like I said, they can still be used for the uh, installation. Okay, so basically, like I said before, in the uh, first uh, introduction about the wall panels, uh, they can add a bonus uh, part and the, uh, the drill machine and the installation as you see that is being used and it's quite easy for the wall panel to be installed while That first aspect was invisible because if you see after the, the first installation and the wall panel is being placed there, you cannot see it anymore. So that first aspect is just the basic and it is quite invisible. Like this. So you cannot see it anymore in the uh, in your view. Yeah. So you see right here should be the connecting part and another one is going to come here for the, the connectivity right here. So I think it's a connective part right here. So let us say it's the connective part down there, you see over there, and another one is being added right there, and the condenser keeps going up, going up, going up, and like I said, it's kind of progressive. So we reach to uh, the level where you have the uh, the both side corners and, and all that, so. Yeah. Mm. So I think it's quite easy to do this. this, this. Just in one minute or two minutes, you see how far we're going with the installation using the electric drill machine and the machine. Yep. Right here is going to, to, uh, to have the other uh, like exposed corner, corner part right here, like you see the front part over there. Uh, so, so just in a few minutes, I'll see how far we are going with the installation. So this part right here is the exposed corner part right here, and the next side we're going to have the same stuff at the other end there. So basically that's how uh, simple uh, installing the work kind of is. Just in two minutes, see how far we are going with installation. So that's the connected part, and down here is another connected part. And here is the exposed corner part, and that's how it's going to have one. So this is just the basic introduction of one meters of how uh, we can install um, the work kind of, I would say, metal side. So we do, you still continue with the connected part, right here. Uh, you see right here, it's being connected from this angle right down here and then right here we have another connective part and like I said before, this corner is going to, is going to have the, uh, the exposed corner uh, apart right here and you see over there is also there
So our fetchermen have managed to give us um, a clear description of what uh, the installation of uh, metal uh, studies or wall panel is. Okay. So you can see from here, right? But then look in the background there, we see uh, the well-finished, uh, a little kind of uh, our house that, is, that was used for the metal, let's say, uh, metal studies. And you can see how it is well-finished. And I'll just take a look at it. I'll just walk there and show you um, uh, the realistic aspect of uh, the metal studying installation. Okay, so here is a very finished, already finished house, and you can see how it is. And I'm going to introduce what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So look here, it is it's clearly the uh, same, and you can see all the aspect of it from the bottom right here down there, the basement, and up to the window level, and up to the top, which is the roof, okay? So down here, like I said in the first video, down here, uh, the, the first actor is the invisible part. You cannot see it because what? After it's been placed under there, and then the first metal signing, uh is being placed, so it covers uh, the, the, the visibility of the first aspect, so. Uh, you can see right here the connecting parts of the metal side there and then the window level and then you come down right here to uh, the uh, exposed panel part so look at the exposed panel part right here like you saw in the first video we showed you the exposed panel part and after it's being put together entirely this is how it looks like so this is uh, the exposed panel part of it you see how it looks like take a look at this one and right here you see right here and this is just the door, okay? So it's a very small place, and uh, there's no other city. If you're coming, you can just bring the camera in and let's see how in here is looking. Now, yeah. this is a already finished place, and you can see how uh, the video was put together, okay? So basically, this is what uh, a metal style looks like for both um, outside and for the inside, okay? So I guess I'll uh, call it a day today. After all the presentation and the tour at our factory, this is clearly an example of a finished structure of uh, metal siding. So just look at it. And this is the side aspect of it. You can see how it is looking like that.